all of these milk and milkies comments and milk wagons and all of that it hurts my feelings and um it I know um uh, what you guys are trying to do is be funny um uh, and like connect to each other and have your community and like get props from your friends um but it just really bums me out <laughs> leave the at and woman alone man <laughs> over the last uh, few days a week or whatever there has been a wave of people harassing this woman for being in an at and commercial not because she did anything wrong and they're not like harassing her like attacking her or anything it's the dumbest thing if you haven't seen it if you've been watching the playoffs like me nba playoffs you've seen this commercial a thousand times now they play it every break this is at and commercial where it's this chick and she's like i don't even i can't even remember what they're promoting something about a big deal something about like 50th i don't know i saw it didn't think twice about it actually was getting annoyed at seeing it because it wasn't really that good of a commercial but somebody like noticed that the chick was attractive and noticed that she had uh how do you say without getting demonetized? She had a above average size chest, right? And so what's been going on is you all have made this woman cry because you're spamming her with comments about milky, 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 milky. <laughs> basically, that's what the comments are basically saying. Like, instead of talking about whatever she wants you to talk about, her acting, I guess or being respectable or something. Everybody's just spamming her comments on like IG, Twitter, and whatever else, social media she's using, no matter what. They even spam AT&T's thing with, oh, I, I want to do this to her. I want. There have been, I wish I had some of them pulled up and I'll try to look up some right now. There have been some ridiculous comments about this woman. <laughs> like long paragraphs of like detailed things they want to do to this woman all because of a commercial where she was fully covered up. It was a buttoned up shirt, jeans, nothing ridiculous. And dude's like, forget what you talking about. I heard you had the milkers and they're there. So she broke down crying on IG Live about it. It's not even just new pictures. They're going back to like old pictures and saying wild things. And this is why she's breaking down. She can't even go like post any pictures. She can't even look at her old pictures. She can't even do anything. I don't even know how he found her IG, to be honest with you. Look, this dude's not even speaking English in this one comment. Those are some big old mommy milkers. A wooga, a wooga. <laughs> Eyes pop out. Milk. Emoji, milk emoji, milk emoji. She didn't even say it was just making her uncomfortable. She said it hurt her feelings to, for people to say she has big a big chest. I don't get that one. Not even, I'm not trying to like be that dude. I don't see how it hurts your feelings for people to compliment your chest. I, I can see how it would make you uncomfortable. I fully get that before you rage out. It's the it's the it's the hurt my feelings part. Like if chicks were running around like just to always flip the gender like I tend to do. If chicks were running around saying, "Hey, King's got a big." Big junk. I can see a print, right? My feelings wouldn't be hurt. I'd be a little weird yeah, if that was the every comment on everything I did, and even though I was trying to be serious about something, that's what the guy. I'd be freaked out. Think it was a little weird. Probably wouldn't cry about it. My feelings wouldn't really be hurt. Probably boost my ego a little bit, boost my confidence just a tad. And there's always the argument of just turn off your phone. To be fair, just turn off your phone. Don't look at the screen. But they're attacking her on all. So she can't even like enjoy. So just I guess private your stuff. <laughs> Just private everything, or make it so only friends can react or respond to everything you post. And uh, I don't know what to tell AT&T. It's good marketing. They're getting a lot of attention. Not in a good way, but I think the whole thing is goofy, to be honest. It's like this whole situation is goofy. The fact that it's a thing is goofy. Because for real, for real, she's not like... I can see if she was in the commercial while now in the swimming pool or something. She, <laughs> she was really just chilling. Somebody said, my God, she has some rocking, slushy, gushy... Oingy boingy dun hungaruka googers. I don't even know. Dude's talking like cavemen over this woman who was minding her business and y'all made her cry. And because she cried, of course, more people are going to go and attack her and well, not attack her, but harass her about it. And they're pulling up old videos of her, like in some more seductive s type clips and like pictures and this is going to get me take it how you want to take action i'm not i can't really it's hard i'm trying to word it in a way where it's where i'm trying to say is exactly what i mean i don't want it to come off the way i'm not trying to get clipped so i'll say this right there is a lot of content before all of this stuff of her where she is very open to i'm gonna put it on screen actually as much as i can without you know demonetization type beat happening to me there's a lot of stuff of her embracing 
sexuality and embracing that image where you would think that you would wonder she is an actor is she dialing you up a little bit with this reaction of i my feelings got hurt by these things i would understand being uncomfortable with the sexual harassment but is is the, the the crying and oh my feelings are hurt and i can't is is she is she putting a little extra oomph on it is a question you gotta ask to be extremely fair because i do think that they're doing way too much but at the same time i question is she overdoing it a little bit i would expect it uncomfortable i would expect it going private i would expect it not asking for it but then when you see some of this stuff that's on the screen where it's like this is who you were and this is what you were doing before they started coming for you you didn't really seem to have a problem like you were kind of playing into that image more so and to the image of showing it like you wanted the compliment if you put out if i put out a picture of me shirtless flexing in the rain or something i want compliments on that i'm not putting that out there to to not receive compliments and you look at some of this stuff you got her like posing topless all over i don't know if this was her ig before multiple pictures with the tongue out and the cleavage out the, the standard silhouette nude silhouette in front of the sunlight in front of the window picture holding what looks like penis shaped objects not even sure what that one was about uh literally poking her chest with a mic for a camera i don't even know what that's about like she you know holding a pair of melons or lemons right on top of her chest i'm not saying that she deserves this treatment i'm not saying she deserves all these clowns putting all these ridiculous comments on her page because like i'm just questioning how do you go from this right how do you go from stuff like this to I'm crying and my feelings are hurt because people are saying I'm attractive to them in the weirdest ways possible, by the way. You have to question, all right, is she dialing up just a tad bit based off of her personality that has been expressed and shown? Or maybe she changed, because I don't even know when this stuff was put up by her. Maybe she changed and maybe she has, like, doesn't want that type of image anymore. Kind of like the Mia Khalifa thing, right? Mia Khalifa doesn't want that, 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 that image of being what she used to be or how she used to behave. She wants to be taken seriously. She wants to be looked at as a serious, and no one cared for Mia Khalifa, that is. Because to be fair with you, she was bad at everything else she tried that I saw. So she's probably stick to where she got her popular. But this isn't about Mia Khalifa being trash at everything. Even what she got popular for, she's low key trash at, but she's attractive. This is about AT&T girl, AKA Milana Vaint Rub. Vaint Rub? Vaint Rub? That's a terrible name for this situation. Like, side note, that's a terrible name. Just having of all the names to have as a last name. Now, I'm sure I'm reading it wrong. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's, it's whatever. I just feel like you gotta be objective and, and unbiased and fair. You can't just always take it for what it is. I've, I don't really take anything on the internet as real anymore. And I just question the whole crying and saying, like, her, her feelings were hurt by it. But I do believe she's uncomfortable. I do believe what is being said is disgusting. I do believe it's way too much and went way too far, especially for what blew it up. Her standing around the AT&T commercial, just doing her job. It shouldn't really turn into this, but it is what it is, and this is where we are. And I think Ella the Day obviously goes to all the people who are harassing and attacking this woman and flooding the AT&T pages. Go find something else. There's so many girls who are begging you for this attention, right? They got OnlyFans set up. They're only making like two pennies because no one subscribed. Except that weirdo best friend who swears he doesn't want to do anything with them. Like, go and do that to those girls. There's no need to do If she says she doesn't want it, don't give it to her. Just move on. Don't give her the attention and go do something else. Ella Day goes to all those people who are harassing her. Ella Day goes to anybody who thinks it's okay to constantly, especially at this point, to constantly do that and go to the at and page and do it. Especially over something very modest and conservative. Because, again, she's just wearing normal clothes. Don't really get how you guys got to this point. This is a quick video because, you know, you want it. Let me know how you feel about the whole thing down in the comments. Leave a like if you are one of the people who haven't commented this stuff down on her page. And if you have, let me know in the comments why you feel like it's okay to keep doing this about her milk, milk, milker, milkers or whatever. Oh, and if you want to continue this conversation, you want to ask me more about it. If you feel like I said something that offended you, feel free to tweet me at any point in the day. I'll see it much easier there at the end of the day. Until the end of the famous King Miles King, and I have nothing left to say this has been your L of the day. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at these comments and I guess, yeah. All right, I'm gonna hop off. Thanks so much, bye. Bye.
bum, bum, bum.